Hey, have you ever had Korean radish? This is the best I could find in Brooklyn, but the actual Korean moo looks more like this. Although some of you might have never seen a Korean moo before, this is one of the top four ingredients used in Korean cuisine. So you'll see this radish in soup, kimchi, fish, kalbi, and when it's braised like this, it's soft yet lightly crunchy and the natural sweetness complements the flavor that it soaks up. This is Korean braised radish, moo jori. All you need is some peeled and sliced radish and for every handful of moo, a good ratio of Korean flavors. Mix it up and lay the radish and the sauce. Add some water or kombu broth until it's the same level as a radish. Mu has historically been widely used, especially because it's available all year round. The flavor and density of the mu changes depending on the four seasons, and in the winter, you can expect it to be sweeter and crunchier. Once you simmer it until you can poke the radish all the way through, that's it. You can make a bunch and keep it in the fridge to enjoy for the week, and take out a few with each bowl of rice. Enjoy!